In today's video, I'll be revealing the blog writing process that has allowed me to grow a website from 5,000 organic traffic to 55 organic traffic per month, ranking for over 20,000 keywords, and we're ranking in the top three position for some very difficult keywords and high traffic keywords that brings in traffic not only from lower tier countries, but high tier countries like the United States, Canada, and this is a very valuable website that we've grown primarily using AI blogging techniques. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first tool that I use for my keyword research is a tool in which we're on right now. It is Ahrefs. When it comes to keyword research, there's two main ways in which you can go about doing so. And that is one doing competitor research. So what I would first do is I would first search up some main competitors and take a look at their websites and see which keywords they're ranking for and make a list of keywords that are low KD at the beginning and keywords that are relevant to your niche. And then I would start by doing a topical map. So, you know, it really depends on your niche. If your niche is gardening, then maybe you have a topical map around indoor gardens or outdoor gardens, and then you can have a topical map around fruits gardening or then vegetables gardening. So you really need to break down your topical maps and then you need to then focus solely on one of those map and try to build out as much content as you can. So in the same example, if you wanted to do something around fruits gardening specifically, then you do all your content around that and you back that up by doing keyword research, right? So I would first tackle um, doing keyword research by either searching up the competitor or you can head over to the keywords explorer and you can search up by the main keyword in which your niche is about and then you can kind of go from there. But it really starts with making a topical map and then you validate that with your keyword data. Now, once you've done your keyword research and you know what you want to create content around, you need to create a lot of content. You need to create more content than you think. And that is about 50 to 60 articles per month. If you can do more, the better. I haven't really seen an issue unless you're doing like, you know, a crazy amount of articles, but 50 or 60, that's about two articles per day. You should be fine. As you can see, we have over 374 articles on this website, and I don't really think that's a lot. And this took us about six months to create, right? So six months and 334 articles. And as you can see, we got some amazing results by using this method. So if you're not getting search um, traffic, then you may need to create more content it just really depends on how competitive your specific niche is, but more is always better. On that note, more isn't actually always better, even though that's counterintuitive. What I mean by that, you need to find a middle ground or sweet spot between quantity and quality. So if you take a look at any of our articles here, let's just go over to any of our articles that we've just created. Even though these articles are created using AI, they're very in-depth and they're very well done. So I think for this article here, we actually used my tool, WordRocket, and I'll be talking a little bit more about this tool. And we use the real-time blog post generator. So what this does is this goes out and it actually searches the web for live and up-to-date information. So if we scroll down to the bottom here, we can see that there's references, right? So there's actual references because we've went ahead and we've searched the web, scraped information about this topic to make sure that it's high quality, to make sure that it's relevant and make sure that it's factually accurate. And that is the type of content that will rank on Google. Here's another article as well. And as you can see here, it has baked in images throughout the article. So again, on WordRocket, we have another template, which is called the all-in-one SEO generator. And this allows you to generate images within your article automatically. And we actually bear the cost of the images. So all you pay for the text and we will pay for the images for you. So if you go over to my content, and of course, if you want to try it, WordRocket, if you have it, just head over to app.wordrocket.ai. And you go to view content, you will then be able to see the content with the actual images embedded. So it's all one click. You just put in your topic and it will create that image for you. And then you can simply go ahead and copy over the markdown and paste it onto your website. So again, quantity and quality. If you were to have to create an article that is, you know, factual up to date that has um, baked in custom images, also with custom um, internal links, then that would take you very long. But with a tool like WordRocket, it really expedites the process. And really, it's been my super, um, my superpower and my secret to getting 
his success on this website. Again, as you can see, we're ranking number one for a lot of um, keywords with high volume. And the way that we're able to do so is if you have a very hard keyword in which you're going after, you need to create pillar content, then some of these templates may not maybe give you enough. So that's why we've created the competitor analyzer template. And this template is amazing. What it does is it allows you to paste in your competitor URLs. We'll then scrape those URLs and take that information and create a custom article based upon that information. So you can see why this would create really, really awesome content. So again, let's say, for example, we're in the garden niche and we wanted to rank for this keyword and it's super competitive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over the top ranked URLs, head back over to Word Rocket, and then we're going to go ahead and analyze these competitors. So again, what's going to happen is the AI is going to read each one of those um, links and it's going to take that information and create a custom article based upon those links. Once the articles have been analyzed, then you can select them and click build super prompt and we will build a super prompt, which again, you can then use to generate your article. Here's the prompt in which you get back. And as you can see, it's very, very in depth. It takes all of the good and it improves the prompt to make a much better article. So again, it's going to have a very detailed outline to really direct the AI in the right direction in terms of how to outrank and create an article that's way, way better than your competitors. So as you can see, very, very in-depth here. And then we're going to use that in Word Rocket. We can include our internal links if you like. And then we can go ahead and generate the content. And the content will be generated in the background. So as you can see, content creation using a tool like Word Rocket really allows you to expedite, but not only just create garbage content that's AI, you can create really in-depth content that will actually rank. And you can see that because the proof again is in the pudding. All the content on this website was generated using a very similar method before it was a more manual method, but now I created a tool which allows you to do so more automated. So of course, if you'd like to use Word Rocket, just head over to app.wordrocket.ai. So once you've created your content um, and you're creating about 50 to 60 articles per month, you naturally will start to see articles that are ranking. And what I like to do is, I like to solidify my rankings. So if my articles are now ranking, let's say number 10 or number 11, I'll actually go into those articles and I'll do some things to try to make it rank a little bit higher. So again, let's go back over to one of these articles here. And I believe this article was ranking maybe number five or six. And I went ahead and I added in some custom HTML elements. So for example, I added in a piercing bump quick answers. And this is really good because it's you know, schema marked up. So that means that the AI from Google will be able to read it a little bit easier, which gives me a higher chance of it getting, you know, in the AI overview or being featured. If we scroll down again, we have an actual, like very interactive, right? Um, piercing skin guide. So you can click on each one of these and it's going to show you um, like the important warnings, aftercare requirements and so forth and so on. So this is a really, really like custom tool and very in-depth and very nice to use. And you can click book a consultation right there and then. So again, if I scroll down, I can see all of the content and final thoughts. So the web page itself, I had to go back. So once you do the work once, and if you're getting a little bit of rankings, always go back and optimize and re-optimize constantly so that you can solidify your rankings or get a little bit of a higher rankings. So you go for your blitz of your content or whatever is doing well, then you go back and you improve it. Here is the article that we got back from the super prompt. As you can see here, very, very good key takeaways. Why choose Canadian seed companies, how to evaluate pricing considerations, top seed companies with a detailed review, beautiful table there. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Really good article, money saving tips, FAQs, different practices, tech and innovation, and a conclusion, which are SEO meta information. Very, very good article. You couple that with images, you couple that with custom HTML elements. As I mentioned before, there's no reason why that article wouldn't rank on Google. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. And again, if you like to use Word Rocket, just head over to app.wordrocket.ai. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.